hi YouTube, Katya Green here. And today I'm going to be showing you my favorite warm up flow. So stay tuned. Hi everyone, Katya Green here. If you don't know me, I teach. Pilates in San Diego since 2004 and I'm going to today be showing you my favorite warm-up flows okay so before anything if you like this video thumbs up please and also subscribe and click the little uh, bell so you can get notifications right away as soon as I upload some more all right and if you like what you see, you can click on the link below and get the extension version of this video so you can get the full class. All right, so let's get started. So I have, uh, we're gonna use a baton if you have, but if you don't, it's not that necessary. And we have a ball, okay? To start, we're gonna use a blue ball and a yellow spring. So let's get started. So you're going to sit re facing your the head rest and you're going to sit really, really close to the shoulder rests like this, okay? Put your booty really, really close. You're going to make a C curve right here and roll down through the spine and put the ball right between your scapula, whatever feels comfortable. So here we go, and let's get started. So you're gonna hold on the, sh on the, on the loops and hold your shoulders down. That nice little C curve here on your belly. Take a deep breath in, go up and over, circle the arms around, contract the abs and come up. So here we go, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. So um, this is my favorite warm up because as you can see, you warm up the shoulders which you use so much in Pilates. Of course, every class with planks and almost every exercise you're using the shoulders, so it's very important to get them very warmed, warmed up. And also, it stretches your spine, especially on the thoracic area right here, as you can see, and it starts warming up your abs as well. So, absolutely love, love, love this one. So let's do one more here. And now let's reverse. So out, up, and one, out, up, and two, out, up, and three, out, up, and four, one more, and five, great, from here we're going to roll up and I'm going we're gonna put the ball between your knees we're gonna keep holding the loops and you're gonna roll down through the spine bone by bone by bone by bone by bone inhale reach out exhale bend the elbow contract the abs and come slowly back up nice and tall inhale on the top exhale roll down through the spine bone by bone by bone by bone inhale reach out Exhale, shh, contract the abs, squeeze the ball, connect all the muscles up, nice and tall. Two more, shh, roll down, inhale, exhale, contract the abs, navel through the spine, nice and tall. Last one, shh, down, inhale, Exhale, connecting those muscles up nice and tall. Great, from here we're gonna open out to the side, add a little rotation here, back to the center, keep squeezing the ball. And here we go, one more, out, and in, one more time, out, and in. Great, from here guys, I'm going to switch to 
the baton, okay? So you can grab the baton and we're gonna extend your legs right in front of you and you're gonna put the baton right here. It's still super light, a yellow spring. I like to put the loops right inside the baton like this. I'm just gonna bend the elbow a little, uh, the knees a little bit, sit a little bit again closer to kind of in the middle of the carriage and just extend overhead and roll up nice and tall. Actually, you may wanna sit a little more forward in case the client, you know, may not have that much of a, just for safety, right? So here we go. Overhead and roll up nice and tall. C curve, overhead and roll up nice and tall. Two more, C curve, overhead and roll up nice and tall. Last one. And roll up nice and tall. All right, so from here, I'm gonna put the loops back on the loop holder, and I'm going to move to the other side, right here. Grab the ball, and I'm going to seat really close to the end of the carriage and I'm gonna put the ball exactly on the same place we had before. It's still in a yellow spring and same thing, we're doing that nice little C curve here. I'm going to wrap my toes on the foot bar, place my hands behind my head. First things first, I'm gonna take a deep breath in and contract the abs. Actually, the closer you go to the edge of the carriage, but close enough that when you come up you have support, the better. So, inhale, opening the chest, exhale, contract the abs. So you're doing a little nice warm up here, a little abdominal work. Start talking and cueing your clients here to how, you know, engage the powerhouse. And then from here, guys, we're gonna hold here, and then I start telling them to extend and bend the knee, holding navel through the spine, trying to hold a C curve as much as possible. And then I tell them to do little jumps like this. So it's almost doing a mat class on the reformer. So you have to hold the um, pelvis stable here in a C curve on the spine, right? And you're gonna jump with the legs like this, reaching out, lengthening, almost like a mat class. You can add the arms, we're gonna do it now. So you're gonna reach up towards the toe and back for eight, towards the toe and back for seven, reach towards the toe, down six, towards the toe, down five, towards the toe, reaching the toes, four, and three, and two, and one. Good. We're gonna continue going here. We're gonna add some obliques now. So one leg is gonna go up and over the foot bar and you're just gonna turn like this. Reach up and two, up and three, up and four. And now we're just gonna jump with a single leg. So you're gonna jump and reach out with the leg. And two, and three, and four. And now we're gonna add the opposite hand is gonna reach to the little toe. One, good. And two, and I'm telling you guys, it really burns. And three, and four, great. Here we go to the other leg. So, leg goes over, we just turn four, center, three, center, two, center, one. And now we're gonna start the little jump. One, two, I like to cue for the clients to keep the other leg high because by this time, three, they're so tired, they may start arching the back, you know, and four, and you don't want that to happen. And now we're gonna add the opposite hand. Four, and out. Three, reaching to the pinky toe. Two, and one, yes. And now we're gonna roll back up. 
and we're gonna grab the baton again. So here we go. So from here, this one you can do with the ball as well, but so that's why you don't really need the baton, but you can do it the ball, but I'm gonna do it since I have it in here. So again, you sit on the same spot, you're gonna sit nice and tall. So you can teach your clients, you know, posture, do a little warm up here on the shoulders, reaching stab stabilization of the shoulders. You can practice a little work like this, keeping the rib cage engaged. And then from here, we're gonna go down in a little C curve. Right, and you can start uh, working a little sit up with your with your clients, teaching them slowly articulate the spine to a C curve, and then come back up nice and tall. So that's how I walk them through it, like this. If I want to add a little more um, challenge, I make them bring the arm up here, like this. When they are down, see lifting here because, and then eventually, I have them stay here, zipping in their thighs together, connect with that deep muscles of your pelvic floor, stabilizing the pelvis, staying still, the chest does not go up and down, just the arms. And then I do typically like 10, but just to show you, I'm gonna do just five, so we have two more here, it's burning, guys. And last one, ooh, up and over. Then I have them stretch here. There is more. <laughs> so then we go back here on that same work of rounded back. And then I, I take them to do some canoeing. Okay, so again, you still can do the ball. Just cue them for the ball to be on the middle of the chest the whole time. But with the baton, it's more fun because you, you play with the visualization. You tell them that you're in a canoe and then that they have to bring the baton really low so you can really move forward. So it's really fun. So, so just watch. So zipping their thighs together. Don't let their knees go side to side. Cue them to stay still. And then we're going to go and canoe here. What? And then ped pedaling, right? And two. See, so. And three. See how the knee try to move? You try to move the hip. And that even I am struggling here is hard. So cue, so they keep their knees stable, they're aligned, and the hip is not being moved so much because the movement is gone, is coming from the torso. It's really hard. So I'm just going to do one more. And then we come back here and up and over. So from here you can also teach them a little bit of um, just like an introduction to posture, right? Sitting up nice and tall, going to one side and the other and then reaching forward, you know. It's a warm-up. You can make the warm-up as hard or as easy as you want, depending on your class level, right? So what I really love, I really love to teach the spine twist in here because you can put your foot right here on, against the, the platform because you see the spine twist in the mat, the biggest issue is that they move their feet like this and here they can't because this anchored on the platform. So I like to use the baton or just not, a, not need to use anything, but I like to reach out like this as far back as possible and look at the feet to, feet, to be parallel. Come back to the center nice and tall, girl taller and then the other side. And that feels really, really good. Again, you don't need the baton. You can do this with the ball. You can do this without anything, just with the hands. And you could do this with the uh, rubber band as well, right? So reach, 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 reach. Almost like you're casting the spell. All the way. Nice and tall. So one more each side just to demonstrate. Last one. Beautiful. And then up and over. Relaxing. So from here, I also like to use the, um, the saw. 
I like to do this on the reformer. So I place your feet like this. I, I have them place, place their feet right here against the shoulder rest, opening the arms out, nice and tall, and twisting and going for this. One, two, up, nice and tall. Other side, exhale. Inhale, and other side, again. Inhale, nice and tall, again. Inhale, nice and tall. And this would be the end of the warm up for now, or you can add more in there. I mean, I have several warm ups, you know. I know on the traditional Pilates, usually it's especially you know, classic, you go and do the footwork, but I really believe that things need to be changed. You can't do just the same thing the whole time. It's always fun to start the class a little bit different, and I like to add these little new things in class, and I see the clients appreciating that. And yeah, so if you wanna see more, click on the link on the description below so you can see the extension uh, version of this class which I'm gonna go through the whole workout from here. Thanks for being here. See you next time.